So again, I'm James Wieslowski. We're going to be posting multiple techniques for your, your family right now while you're home to practice these orthopedic massage and integrated manual techniques. This one is for the hip capsule. I want you to know that the femur should move into flexion or extension and flexion and internal and external rotation without dragging the ilium with it. So this is an updated capsular technique. To assess for capsular restrictions, you flex the hip to 90 degrees. When you bring the foot out towards you, it's called internal rotation. You can see with Fran, she's limited to about 20 degrees with a hard or bone on bone like anvil. Fran has great external rotation with a soft infill. So when you find this hard infill going medial, as I'm finding in Fran, just go to that restriction. Place one hand under the leg with the palm down. Put the other hand on the femur. Apply about five ounces. You don't want the ilium to move, so that would be too much. About five ounces of pressure. And then do a little rocking because there will be a lot of secondary muscle guarding. Then when you step back onto your right foot, you're stretching the capsule. When you step into the left foot, you're relaxing the joint capsule. Back onto your right foot, you're stretching, and then you can start to add rotation into the restriction barrier. And then back and stretch the capsule. And just doing this, where you're freeing up the femur from dragging the ilium with it, will allow this range of motion to come back. You will now have 60 degrees of external and soft, and 45 of internal and soft. And just that one technique will help with some of the low back pain. And, and it's a good chance that balancing out the internal and external hip, hip rotators will uh, get rid of a lot of static nerve root pain. So again, practice with your family, share this with other people on Facebook, and be watching for a, a about four or five of these techniques a week during this difficult time. Thank you and God bless.